Disney, you've done it again. What's up, guys? It's producer guy Phil here. Okay, listen, this this is this is excitement. This is genuine excitement. My voice is gone because I'm sick, but I still have to make this video. So there is a new game coming out digitally. It is going to be called the Disney Afternoon Classics. Wow, I grew up with Ducktales. It's my favorite cartoon of like all time. Uh, DuckTales 2, I never got to play it, but I've been playing a lot of the ROM recently and that's fantastic. Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Chippendale in general. When I first started at Hot Topic, I had a Chippendale button on my lanyard and it's, it's sadly gone. But I basically grew up a Disney kid. To see they're doing a game with all of these games in one kind of like updated in HG, it's just mind blowing, dude. It is mind blowing. It is fantastic. The trailer is over here somewhere. Like I'm putting it right here because holy crap, it is amazing. So from what I'm reading, we're going to get Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2, Darkwing Duck, when there's trouble you call DW. Darkwing Duck, let's get dangerous. Uh, DuckTales, DuckTales 2, and Tailspin. This is the epitome of my childhood come to life now in video game 4. This is actually going to go great. You got the DuckTales cartoon, you got the trailer dropping was last week, coming out very, very soon. It's got David Tennant as Scrooge McDuck. No one's ever going to be Alan Young, but I prefer David Tennant in this role. Okay, so I see a lot of people are up in arms about this not being on the Switch. You know what? That's a fair point, man. A lot of these games were on the classic NES, DuckTales, Chip and Nail, all of them were on there. You think Darkwing Duck was on there, too? I think Tailspin might have been Super Nintendo. I know I've seen Tailspin for Genesis. But these games were on the classic NES, and to see it not on the Switch, eh, it can be a little bit of a disappointment. But, don't forget, guys, Nintendo is a virtual console and an eShop launching soon. It's got that launching very, very soon. Who's to say we don't finally see those games up on there, or even four or five months afterward we get it all as a digital download for the Switch? Who knows, man? Just give it time. Don't exactly freak out if you don't see it on Nintendo yet. Just relax, breathe, calm down, and give it some time. This is still pretty new. Biggest thing, however, is that there is a lack of a physical version. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, I would love to have a physical version just to have it on the shelf, just to look at, just to have a physical disc, you know, so I can bring it to other people's houses so they can play it as well. I mean, I'm sure there's the whole share play thing, but you know, there's just something about putting the disc and putting it into the console. I don't know. Maybe I'm just so physical media biased that I just prefer to have everything as physical media or even like games that I really play. Like I have the Back to the Future games, I love Back to the Future and I wanted a physical copy. Same with Attack on Titan. Just things that I love, I want the physical versions just to have, just to look at it because every game has a story. And this game and all six of the games inside of it all have a story with me as well. And I just, I'm very excited to see it. Uh, it's really great to see them finally in HD as well. It's super exciting. I like how they're gonna have uh, finally an affordable version of DuckTales 2. Uh, cause man, what's that card going for? A couple hundred at least? Wow. But this, this is very exciting. I'm excited for this. Let me know your thoughts on the Disney Afternoon collection in the comments down below. Sorry again for my voice, but I'm super excited.